Setting up high-speed inputs can be intimidating, but with Click it becomes just another simple function. This video shows how to set up an encoder on a Click PLC for high-speed counting. To use high-speed inputs on Click, you must have a Click CPU that supports Ethernet and has DC inputs. High-speed counting is not supported on units with AC inputs. You must have Click programming software 2.30 or higher and update the firmware to match this software version. I have an MPN Open Collector Quadrature Encoder that meets the voltage requirements of the Click PLC. I wire the A pulse into X1, the B pulse into X2, and since this is an MPN encoder, I place positive 24 volts DC to the C1 common of the Click CPU. To start the setup of the high speed input, select the Function tab in the navigation pane. Select here on High Speed Input Setup. This display really makes the difference. It shows you exactly what each function does. Just check the graphic and verify that's your function and then select the button that says use this mode. We are setting up counting so select here. I'm going to give this function a name and then select here to assign where this count will be stored. I'm going to use DD1. To select encoder input, select here and select one of the quadrature options. Now the difference between the two is the Z pulse. If your application needs a call and interrupt or reset the count on each rotation, select the one with the Z pulse. If not, select the AB option. We need to assign the inputs for this function. Select here, and since we're doing AB, you can see that these are in pairs. I will select X1 and X2 and then hit OK. This will allow you to put a multiplier on the count. Here are your reset options. I will assign the internal coil of C1. If you use an internal coil instead of a hardwired input, realize that this will be dependent upon the scan time. This option allows you to enable the count or disable the count based upon the status of a bit. Now there's another feature here that you might find useful. You can define a preset table that will turn on outputs or call an interrupt program when the encoder count reaches a certain value. This is completely independent of the scan time and can be very useful in certain high speed operations. For the purposes of this video, I will forego this optional setup. So I will go back and accept all this setup. Go ahead and hit OK. Now you'll see your encoder function assigned here. Press OK. Now you'll see the registers that are assigned to this function here. Let's load this project into the CPU and test the counts. So we'll need to open up the data view. I'm going to add my reset bit, my enable bit, and then my count. Now I'm going to enable the count by double clicking here, and then spin the encoder. You should see the pulses at this point. Now one tip to help you here. If your encoder is counting in the wrong direction, just flip the A and B inputs, and that will take care of it. So no more intimidation when it comes to setting up an encoder for high speed inputs. Just another way that Click takes advanced and makes it simple. If you have any questions about this setup, please feel free to comment below or call into our award winning tech support team. Click here to see more videos on Click and select here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see our new products and solutions.